I rise and I wake and I gotta go get it. I'm making my bed in it straight to the digits. No cup of jokers, they this is acidic. So I take a shot with the lemon and ginger. Look in the mirror, like, yeah, I'm not. Look in the mirror, like, I'm fitted. Looking outside, like, the world is our mind. Look in the mirror, like, go get it. I gotta get to the scene, oh. I gotta get to the back now. I can't be chasing on these. They get in, they feeling and drag down. That's why they just crash out. Stuck in the cell and it's man down. Life getting on in the flash now. Fitting in, I'ma stand down. I done seen these. Crash out, they some baby boys. I'm the man now. They was questioning, make them fan. YouTube fan, what's the deal? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my uploads. It's a beautiful day in LA. I'm up on top of my rooftop right now, as you can see. Such a beautiful day. Blessed to be able to say this is home. But before we get into this vlog, I just want to tap in with you guys to make sure what we've been talking about in the past couple of weeks that you've been manifesting the life that you want to live that you're staying locked in and if you've been doing so tell me about it down in the comments below tell me about it down let's let's keep each other accountable on what we're doing in our lives and making sure that we are living the best life or envisioning the life that we want to live so that we can get to our best life and i'll leave you with this yes it's important to have a vision and visualize how you want your life to live but if you're not disciplined it's going to get you nowhere. It's going to be a lot harder, actually, to get to where you want to get to. Stay disciplined. Keep going. Even when things don't seem like they're going your way right now, stay disciplined. Keep going. Keep your head down. Keep grinding. It's the only way to get there. Things may seem hard right now. Truly. I'm not trying to preach our heads off, but I'm just telling you what I've been through and what I've had to go through so I can tell you by experience that things may seem like they're hard. Things may not seem like they're going your way, but stay disciplined, keep going, do not give up. I'm telling you, the moment you give up, you were like that close from getting what you wanted to get in your life. I'm telling you, it's right there. Just keep going. Be consistent, stay disciplined, and you'll get to where you want to get to. Remember, have a clear eye vision and the thing that you want in your life and what you want to do, who you want to be in your life. Only way to get there is to be disciplined, stay focused, consistency, and never giving up. I mean, God, look at this, y'all. This is what dreams are made of. Right here, right here, staying consistent, right here. Let's jump into this vlog, let's get it. Let's go. What's up, man? What'd you do? Came back. Oh, Miami. Miami look good. You know, my, my Miami is a little different than everybody else's Miami. Listen, I hear me your vlogs, man. Like, the vlogs are getting, uh, I like how you put in, like, this um, motivation for others in the vlogs. Good thing you said that. So, it's, uh, every vlog is, my biggest thing is about having vision. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Clear eye yeah. view, where you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to do, you know, just manifesting yeah. it all. And so every vlog is going to have a check-in. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to have a little something yeah. in there. I'm going to have a little something in there to like, yo, this is the, this is the message for, you yeah. know, you moving forward this week. Well, also because when people look up to you and they see your life, they're, people don't know that you could be as transparent as you are. Yeah. You know, and, and share honesty. So people are like, oh shit, he's a real person like me, or he's experiencing this like me. Yeah. Um, I think that's which the, I think is amazing. I think that's the vulnerability of it all. And I think um, right now I'm focused on building a community. And uh, yeah. I think the YouTube side of it all is uh, allowing me to gradually build that community. I mean, we're up, we're up probably like 15,000 followers, uh, subscribers since we talked last. All right, so just got finished with the call, my monthly call with my manager. Um, you guys have seen calls like this before. And sometimes I do tend to uh, shut off the camera at certain points when we're talking about like money and all that stuff like that because I don't want y'all to be all in my business. However, I want y'all to know that like, this is the behind the scenes of like content creation. Like for, a, I can't speak for everybody, but for me, it's a bona fide business, right? Like we're always conceptualizing, we're always trying to plan what we want the consumer, the follower, the subscriber to see, how are they feeling? It's it's just, it's, it's a real live business. It's a, 
a six figure business. So it is very important for us to actually have these monthly calls. It's very important for us to curate, you know, what we want you guys to see. And for me, having a great manager who is willing to ask questions, who is willing to put his opinions in there and be transparent about a lot because I, listen, I've dealt with a lot of terrible, terrible managers. So it's really great to have a support system like that. And um, it is a true business, man. Like we make money over here and it is something where like it afforded me this lifestyle that I live. It afforded me to be able to go buy real estate. So my content creation journey has been about 10 years. And I knew that content creation was gonna be the stepping stone to the other places that I wanted to be. So it's very important for us to stay on task, stay on script, to talk about pipelines, to talk about the forecast, what are we seeing in the next year, what's happening, what's coming, and what do we need to put on the page, right? Um, and what brands wanna see, right? And what brands that we want to actually fish for. There's certain things in content that we would put in the content just for product placement. I just might be at the table drinking and put this down. Y'all might think I'm just drinking this kombucha. No, I'm trying to get a kombucha brand to say, hey, we see that he's doing that. Let's put our kombucha brand here. So there's always a method to the madness and um, I'm actually glad that I'm able to get on this channel and be very transparent with you guys. Like all the YouTube stuff is literally I wouldn't say it's curated or anything like that. I would say this is like a behind the scenes. It's as raw as it's gonna get and very, very transparent when it comes down to who I am, what my life is, what I do for work and where I'm trying to go. So I'm happy that I'm able to be this transparent with you guys. I'm not this transparent and I don't speak this much on TikTok, Instagram. So you guys are getting very exclusive view of kind of who I am as a person. And I'm so glad that I'm able to do this. And I'm so glad that you guys are here to kind of witness what's happening in my life. And so hopefully I can be an inspiration to, you know, everybody who not just wants to be a content creator, but like just wants to run a business and a successful business, right? Like I would say this is one of my many successful businesses that I've run. And so, um, if you could take any tidbits from this as I'm talking to you guys through the months, through the years, every week um, on learning how to, you know, successfully operate a business. Anyway, so done with the call with my manager. Now I have to finish up a couple of uh, tasks that are due. I have to re-edit a piece of content for a brand that's supposed to get posted probably next week. Also, I have to actually shoot a concept that I have for a brand Liquid IV. So we're working with Liquid IV for a TikTok video and a couple of Instagram stories. So doing that as well. So there's a bunch of stuff to be done, um, but I need to get them. I don't want to spend all day doing this. <laughs> I don't. So I'm going to lock in for an hour, 30 minutes, two hours to get this done, then go out, eat some lunch and then have the rest of the day for myself. But also, we have a Stiller game today at five o'clock, which I'm definitely tuning into. For all my Stiller fans who are like always watching this video, always watching this channel, appreciate you, go Steelers, here we go. Um, and then I have a event to go to with Remy Martin that starts at seven. So Stiller game at five, Remy Martin event at seven. I ain't leaving this house. I ain't leaving this house until that game I know is completely over. So I probably not leave this house till like 7.30. So we'll get to the event. I'll show you the fits, all that good stuff. I'll take you to the event and we'll have a good time. Run around the truck up the city, yeah. Pushing up a broader short, yeah. Make up all the face, make sure she pretty, yeah. Look inside her soul, you know it's gritty, yeah. She don't got time for no man. In case you don't understand Cause she be outside
right, so I went to Takaya and I got my normal bowls, the Fajita Del Rey bowl. Seasoned chicken, jalapeno jack, cilantro lime, black beans, guacamole, pico de gallo, some greens, onions, have that. And then I always gotta have my chips with it. Salsa as well. So, and fizzy water. So, always a good balanced meal, especially when I don't really feel like cooking or meal prepping or anything like that. It's just one of those things where it's like, it's right downstairs, so just order it, pick it up, easy. So I'm enjoy this lunch, I'm enjoy this view. I always said I was going to take the time out and just like get out of the house, do lunch outside of the house, even though it's still in my building. Um, I'm going to take in the rooftop and the views that I have here, not just in my, my house. And so that's what I'm doing today and just chilling, just relaxing. And then I'll do this for about maybe 40 minutes and then go back inside, finish up editing. Cause they've been emailing me all day about, yo, we need this in the morning. We need this in the morning. So it's basically done. I just need like a night scene and do some voiceover. And then we got a Steelers game, like I said, at five o'clock. So I want to kind of do everything that I need to do, get that done, and then kind of prep for tonight's event, get a little fit going on. Not sure what I'm going to wear, but it's a uh, cocktail attire. So um, being in LA, cocktail attire may mean a few different things, just not casual. So um, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to wear. It's probably going to be black. I'm going to be real with you. Probably going to be black. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to enjoy this lunch get my grub on, and then I'm gonna finish the rest of this day. All right, it's five o'clock, it is Thursday night football. You guys see I am dressed up in the gear. You know you know how it is. All my Steelers fans, they follow me, tap in. But Thursday night football, it's a snowy game, rainy, snowy game in Cleveland. But you know what we gotta go to the event tonight for Remy Martin, do a celebration, it's a 300 year celebration. Um, we'll get into that and I'll give you guys a sit check after this game, but my team, we got to win. Still, let's go. Justin Hopkins, you take it on. For now, Patterson and Jalen Warren are back for this. All right, y'all. So real quick, uh, the game is crazy. It's blizzarding. Blizzarding. Is that a word? It's a blizzard, um, and the game right now. And, uh, the score is six to 10 crazy so but anyway i want it's 707 i need to get dressed and so want to give you guys a fit breakdown real quick it's supposed to be a cocktail attire but i think i'm good i'm thinking i'm good so akiva frames you guys have seen these before i got the yellow tent on them um this nice cozy sweater that i have it's a v-neck sweater i think i got this from zara and then i have my cost black crop pants with uh some banana republic pull this down these loafers from a Banana Republic got a little shine to them, give it a little bit more of an elevated look with the shine. Um, as far as fragrance is concerned, the New York 29 went with that one. Smells so good. I wanted to go with tobacco vanilla tonight, but I want to give it a little bit of rest. Um, but other than that, went with one of my favorite watches that you guys have seen on my Everyday Care video. And then, oh, and then Hermes bracelet here on the right, N nice subtle situation, nothing too crazy. But that is the look. That's the look. I love it. I like it. Super easy. Nice cozy sweater. And it's getting cold uh, right now. Right now in LA it's about maybe like 59, 61 degrees at night. So perfect for this cozy sweater. Nice, nice. I don't want to say it's really, really thick, but it's, it's nice and drapey. Nice and drapey. So got my little chains here. I love it. Cool, smelling good. Um, I'm gonna. Oh my god! I'm gonna try to watch some more of this game before I have to leave, and then we're on our way to Beverly Hills to celebrate um, with Remy Martin. Let's do it. Let me let me show y'all what this game looks like real quick, real quick, real quick. This game is great. Oh, I cut my hair. I didn't tell y'all. I cut my hair. Look how crazy that is, y'all. This is nuts. It's November. It's not January. It's November.
All right, y'all. So last night, um, great event, great event. Got to see some associates, some friends. Uh, had a special guest, um, pianist, piano, pianist, pianist. Um, so that was good. We thought it was gonna be like Usher or like John Legend or like John Baptiste, but it ended up being Shorty, which is fun, it's cool. I forgot her name. Um, so yeah, came back home and a um, little lit, it was a little lit, but I was still I still managed to be able to get some work done because I had some things to do today, this morning, submit some content, the content that I shot yesterday. And so yeah, so um, did that. And so it was a productive morning. It is about 10 o'clock right now. I'm about to get dressed a little bit more than I am right now. Um, Cause today is more of a day where like, I need to get some stuff done. And it's not even about work or anything like that. Thanksgiving is like right around the corner. And the special thing about this year is that I was able to get all my family out here. So I got a seven bedroom Airbnb for my family to sleep, hang out for about four or five days. Um, in the Hollywood Hills, so that's great. Very grateful to be able to do that. I'm happy to have my family over on the West Coast. For some of my family members, it's like the first time ever being in California, my grandma, you know, and so I'm so grateful that she's able to like be a part of this and see all of this and experience experience the West Coast because she's never been out this far at all. So um, it's just those moments, those moments, you know, my grandmother's getting older. So, you know, I'm cherishing every moment that I have. But so I'm, I'm grateful to be able to do that. But, you know, I also have work to do. And also my mother gave me this whole list full of things that we need because we're cooking. I was going to cater everything, but like it's expensive and all the chefs are taxing. I'm talking about like four grand, five grand just for like a 10, 12 person like dinner. I think that's a little bit much, but hey, I'm not in that industry. I don't know. I need to go taste test a few sweet potato pies. There's a few um, places in LA that I want to taste the sweet potato pies. We do sweet potato over here. We don't do pumpkin. We from the South. We from the South. We don't do pumpkin, we do sweet potato. So um, I need to go to these restaurants and try the sweet potato and then order like three. Yo, by the way, by the way, Kendrick dropped an album today. What a great way to bring in this weekend. And guess what? That joint is fire. I've already listened to it twice. My favorite track on there right now is, um, let me see. I mean, I got a couple joints, couple joints. Let's see, let's see, let's see the track. It's a very different album than what we're used to from him. And I knew we were getting that after the whole back and forth diss with him and Drake. So I knew that we were getting a different Kendrick. And so, I mean, there's no skips on this album. I'm not trying to be a fanboy at all, but there's no skips on this album. And I'm gonna see how long it kind of lives. Cause Not, Not Like Us has been living for a very long time. It's still on the charts. Um, so it's a great album, great way to bring in the weekend. I'm gonna be listening to this every day. This is all I'm listening to all weekend. This is all I'm listening to all weekend. So I need to get out here. I need to go. Go on this taste test with me. Let's get to it. <laughs> My motivation these days is different I mostly beat on myself I don't want to spoil a couple things I prayed for and was gifted Just peep the drive See how I stayed in my lane when they shifted I knew that time could not erase What my destiny's written Right there next to these ribs In my skin and my DNA Like the one that was risen Alright guys We got the pie It was $4 For the small one So I needed to try this out And see what it's talking about because you can't just buy anything and go into it blindly, especially when you have a lot of black folk for Thanksgiving. Can't do it, can't do it. Okay, okay. Now first time, <clears throat> smell good, smell real good. Let's see what it's hitting for y'all. I want to try this crust though. Okay. 
Mm. It's good. It's real good, actually. Try the crust. Mm. Huh. Here y'all go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, so I'm going to be real with you. That's good. <laughs> I might sit up here and eat this whole bar. <laughs> um, hey, it's one of them things where it's like, do I need to go anywhere else? You know what? Honestly, because I need to go to the farmer's market for the collards. I'm going to go try this other bakery that's at the Grove as well. Because it's 16 over there and it's 22 over here. This is sweet potato, right? I ain't get Appreciate it. All right, y'all. So, this sweet potato don't look like a sweet potato. Let's try it. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. No. Absolutely not. That is not good. <laughs> that is not good. It's bland. I ain't got no sugar. No nothing. It just takes a cold piece of blah. Alright, so I'm back. <laughs> and... That pie almost ruined my whole day. You hear me? Ruined my whole day. So the guy comes in <clears throat> telling me about the sweet potato pie. And he's like, yeah, man, uh, we, we, we stopped. What did he say to me? He was like, we stopped taking orders for Thanksgiving because the orders have been crazy. And I'm like, okay. So that means... That this sweet potato pie is fire. Let me get let me get a slice real quick. Cause he's like, yo, I could um if you come on Tuesday, the lines will be wrapped around the building, but you still can get a couple of pies, you know, but you have to come pick it up on Tuesday. <clears throat> so I can't place an order today, but I'll have to come in on Tuesday to do it in person. Fine. Cool. Fine. Right? So he's bigging up the pie. All right, give me a slice. Let me get a club sandwich as well. So he puts the pie down and I really asked him, I, I think I have it in the video, but I asked him, this is the um, sweet potato pie? Well, like, yeah, that's it right there. The first sign I was like, you show? Are you show? <clears throat> So I eat it, as y'all seen. And uh, when I say, <laughs> ain't no way there's sweet potato in that pie. Ain't no way there's sweet potato in that pie. Sweet, sweet potato don't even look like that. I thought I was on a prank show, y'all. And this is why it's it was important for me to come out here, check on these pies and see how they taste it. I, I still have, look, I still have a little bit of the pie. Bro, this is sweet potato. Let me get out of, this is sweet potato. That's sweet potato. That's what that looks like. No way in hell that was sweet potato so that shit almost ruined my whole day so i'm glad i went to go check some people have recommended this place to me and um i seen on reddit that it was a good place i'm going with this other spot period 22 dollars i'm gonna buy three need them thank you there's no way in hell i could pull up to thanksgiving with my family and bring that no way no way.
is Legacy approved I had a vision before them folks had a clue Thank God I still had ability when we didn't have a roof I couldn't even think of stability Let alone had the tools to be making change And it ain't that ancient a memory Strange that I can't forget where I came But don't know if they'll do the same And remember me till I'm painting a bigger picture Making some bigger figures I can't get stuck in that lane that's deeper to be delivered Trust me I've been working in mercy, Lord Trust in my process of money's Looking for progress and pushing for No, I might fall while I'm running I beat myself up sometimes And pay that pressure no mind Cause ain't no way I can work this so, way And I know my time is done Look, feet all on the pavement, but these dreams were so adjacent to this rut that I've been stuck in begging Jesus, can you save him? And the mirror start to hate him, cause I really know he faking. What's the point of shots you taking when your purpose you evading? Unhealed scars, heart is made of gold, but I feel bronze. Should wash the dirt away for new day, but it's Y'all, look at this real quick. Can y'all just look at this real quick? Now, as y'all know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Right? Just a little bright. We'll bring this down a little bit. As y'all know, Thanksgiving is coming up and my family's coming to town and this is what my refrigerator looks like right now everything like it's so a mess unorganized but i got a ham in here 60 eggs all the collard greens all over here um uh, all their breakfast stuff stuck it all, all up in here all the meat and breakfast sausage everything so i ain't even got no room for me i don't have any room for my damn self in here I cannot wait until they get in town. And then here, this is for the Friendsgiving. Got some rolls. They were like, yo, yo, uh, you should cook something. Bro, I'm not cooking a damn thing when I got Thanksgiving with my family. We gotta cook too. I'm not, I'm about to go get you a little pumpkin pie. I don't mess with pumpkin pie, but they do. Get you a little pumpkin pie. They said they want some rolls, get you some rolls. But yeah, everything in that refrigerator is basically them. I ain't got no room for myself. So I can't wait. So my family comes in town on Tuesday and best believe I'm about to take everything out of that refrigerator and be like, huh, here you go. Huh, and then the sweet potatoes on the floor. Hope this is enough, it should be enough. But anyway, so on today's agenda, two things. Well, happy Saturday, by the way. Um, today's agenda, two things. I'm headed to the LA Auto Show with my boy. Check out some cars, catch a vibe, what's new, what's coming, see if there's any Porsches, cause you know, I love my Porsches. And then later on today, I'm going to a Friendsgiving, which I wasn't necessarily gonna go to the Friendsgiving, but why not? Let's not be antisocial today. Let's go to the Friendsgiving. On the, on the cusp, not too old to adjust, old dog, new tricks, remember I was just a pup, something dirty in my cup, in my cup. clean soul, good karma is a must, still my shooter in the cut, I was stuck inside a rut, in a rut. played the game, made bank, move G, anything to get a buck, you won't find me in the club, in the club. I'm in the lab trying to sharpen up the sword, swinging blades at these Okay, alright, so, finally back from LA Auto Show, I'm gonna be real with you, it was a bit underwhelming. They didn't have brands like Audi. They didn't have brands like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Range Rover. Yeah, we've seen a couple of Aston Martins and stuff like that. But I was looking for um, some more of the exotic brands that a little bit more elevated luxury type of brands. Um, so it was cool. Like we got to see a lot of good classic custom cars, but like it was a bit underwhelming. And I, I remember being at a auto show um, a couple of years back and it was pretty cool. But this time for some odd reason, it, it, it was just very, very underwhelming. The crowd wasn't as big as it normally is. Um, but again, it was always good to go out, hang out with the homie and um, be able to kind of fellowship, have a good time, have conversation and just 
look at cars and experience cars. So we did see a couple of cars that I like. I love going to see all the Porsche stuff. Y'all know me. Need to see it. Need to see it. Visualize it. Anyway, so I'm back home. I'm about to get something to eat real quick. Got some stuff in the air fryer. I might take a little bit of a nap and then head over to the Friendsgiving. Try to get over there about 5 o'clock. It's about 3.30 right now, but for some odd reason, I just, I'm a little tired. So I'm going to take a little nap after I eat this little snack, and then we're going to head to Friendsgiving. All right, y'all. So it is 5 o'clock. I need to head over to the Friendsgiving. Before I go, I want to give you guys a fit check. So first off, glasses here. I'm going with the Dijon Mustard vintage frames that I got from Mel's Trading Post um, here in LA. So I always love to put these on. They're not dark, too dark. You can still see like, they're not that dark where I can't wear them during the nighttime. And I love them because I can wear them during the nighttime. But also sweater, nice cozy sweater from Wish Me Luck brand. Um, the trousers, let's, let's get in here. The trousers are going to be from Ralph Lauren. And then the boots are going to be from Doc Martin. But this is my fit, guys. This is what I'm rocking. Super simple, super easy. Nothing too crazy. As far as the fragrance is concerned, fragrance, I am going with Myself by YSL. Again, it's getting cold outside, so I be wanting to get my tobacco vanilla. You know, Y'all know that's my jam. Y'all know that's my jam, but I'm gonna keep it on this side. Light fragrance, really great for the fall. This is perfect. About three sprays and you straight. So about to head out so I don't miss dinner. I do have the pumpkin pie, like I said before, and then the dinner roll. So I feel like people need them. So let me try to be on time. My boy said that the dinner wasn't gonna start until like five something anyway. So let me be on time for once. Let me be on top one. Look, Saint versus sinners, the poor versus riches, top ramen place versus five star dinners. Wonder why I fit it, the humblest beginnings. Had to take some losses before I saw my first winnings. Silver line grinning, poverty line thinning. My life is like a moving in the plot, just sticking. Came from broken homes, trying to break the old traditions. Left my old ways for my future acquisitions. I 